Next question is from Benjamin Love. What are some ways to loosen up stiff hips for squats? Stiff hips. This is a stability and mobility issue, right? One of the best exercises, generally speaking, for the hips for squats is a 90-90. A you get into position, you stay tight, try and sit up nice and tall. And then once you can stabilize that, because that alone for a lot of people is going to do a lot of work. Once you get good at that, then you can focus on doing what's called internal rotation with the back leg, where you're picking up the foot while driving the back knee into the floor. That, generally speaking, is a good movement for most people. Now, if you want something easy and you want to, you know, loosen up the hips for yourself and you don't, you're not looking for like lots of, you know, really good mobility. In other words, <laughs> this is inferior. In other words, this are, is inferior. Are you looking for less results? Yeah. If, then you can well, some people, look, some people getting on the floor doing 90-90s are like, let me just, you know, two walks, you know, ba you know, with a hip circle. That can help yeah, a little bit. Yeah, two walks, leg swings. Yeah, yeah. I can't help but this question, I just can't get the, the image of Justin when he did a Friday fitness tip about a month or two ago for this. Oh, uh, remember the twerk? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He walked back that up. That walk, loosens it up. Walk. I mean, it kind of does, People though. I mean, mind. it kind of will work a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know? there's something there. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, 90-90 is just, uh, I mean, it, and it, there's regressions to the 90-90, which I believe we have on our YouTube channel, too. So if you can't get all the way down in a 90-90 position, you can do it with a bench and, and elevate your, uh, your legs that way, and it's a little bit easier. But yeah, to me, 90-90 has been one of the best ways to prime my hips before I go into lifting. Uh, two blocks and leg swings are also... Yeah, and it depends on where your lack of stability lies, too, to, to focus in a little bit more specifically, like, what the prime. So if I'm doing, like, I need more lateral stability, uh, like, you know, I could do, like, a Cossack uh, squat type of warm-up. Uh, you know, if I need to address my hip flexor, you know, that's, like, you know, keeping my range of motion limited, then I do, a, you know, a kneeling hip flexor stretch, you know, things like that that are a little more specifically needed. But obviously, 90-90 kind of covers the bases. So that's always a good one. I'll give you one that's really good. And it addresses like Sal, if you have an issue getting down on the floor 90-90 and you want something as good as a 90-90, um, I recently uh, was introduced to the assisted Miguel planes, which I got from uh, Squat University guys. I don't know if you guys have ever done that for, oh my God, that's incredible. Hmm. So it's just, it's the assisted Miguel plane. So you just use like a barbell in front of you. So you have, you can balance, mm -hmm. okay. extend one leg all the way back behind you. And then you, and then you rotate. Yeah, yeah. And then you open the hips up. Yeah. So you're keeping your, your foot pointed oh, straight. That's good. I and like then that. you, and you're, you have the assistance to help to take you through that oh, in range like that. of in range of motion you connect really hard then come back over oh i like that yeah you do like five reps on each side and boy yeah, is that, i've done it unassisted whoo. and that's like really difficult to maintain balance that's right so i that and that's why i didn't teach those that often because miguel playing just stabilizing is hard for the average person much less trying to get them to open their hips yeah they're they're assisted miguel planes and i saw squat university giving it as a, as a tip for somebody who's tr actually was trying to work on a discrepancy in their right to left on their hips i went and started using it and i was like ooh. This is pretty sick. So mm. if you don't have the time, or it's a, it's a little bit faster than getting down the ninety ninety, but something as valuable, I'd say. Is I'm that, gonna try those tomorrow. Yeah, right. you'll like them. Cool.